Welcome, friends, to Heaven on Earth, or the very beginnings of it, thanks to you all. Thanks to our cooperation and thanks to our ability to become more and more non-physically oriented in our consciousness, in our focus. This lesson is called Bringing Heaven to Earth, or Blending the Non-Physical with the Physical. It's a blending. It's a bringing into the non-physical into what seems to be the physical. So, like the magician is often represented of being connected between sky and earth and bringing heaven into earth, very much like that. Now, on a practical level, what that means is that, for example, this is just one way of seeing it, but as you follow your joy, what are you following? You're following that line of light that connects you to your non-physical higher self being. So by following your truest passions and desires and joys and inspirations, even if it's just recognized for a moment at a time, every time you take action on it, every time you let that in, every time you become the vibration of your desired reality, every time you become the vibration of your desired action, every time you act on those passions and excitements, you are literally bumping up your frequency. You are literally revolving yourself around that line of light in the outward spiraling energy towards the light, towards the non-physical. This is why it's so important to follow the breadcrumb trail of your excitement. See a previous lesson in Empowerment One for the instructions on that. It's important because every time you follow and recognize and act on and execute and feel and vibrate as that breadcrumb on the breadcrumb trail of your excitement, you are literally bumping up your frequency and you are literally becoming more non-physically focused. You becoming again like a kid that is not afraid to imagine, that's not afraid to be in its imaginative consciousness. Now, you have to understand that the non-physical makes up 99.999% of your consciousness and that the remaining 0.001% of physicality isn't even real. In other words, it's 100% consciousness and it's in a sense 100% non-physical. The physical is illusory physical, it's not actually physical. So it's very crucial that we embrace our non-physical aspects. It's very crucial that we embrace the fact that we are a non-physical self, a non-physical consciousness. And the more we embrace that and the more we reactivate imagination more and more vividly, we start creating using imagination and we start to become less and less interested in being so circumstantially and physically focused. And we really wake up to our bigger self, to our greater self, to our non-physical selves. And this in and of itself is enlightenment too. It's another way into enlightenment. So when we become more non-physically oriented, when we become more intuitive, more imaginative, more convinced of the abundance, the infinite endless abundance and goodness that awaits us and that is with us today, that's guiding us from that non-physical portion of ourselves, the more we are literally focused up on a vibrational plane, a vibrational reality that is closer to our true selves than the physical focus of say, I'm running out of money and there's none of this and there's none of that and what about this and what about that? Being physically focused is deteriorating to your frequency. So you have to pay attention in everyday life that you're not too often, too frequently physically focused. Unless you can really focus physically with being completely convinced and rooted in and coming from a non-physical place of conviction, vibration, seeing, recognizing and understanding. If you can bring a non-physical awareness with you into the physical focus, then you'll notice you'll be physically focused, you'll be circumstantially aware, but you'll actually bring into that experience a great lightness of vibration, a higher density of life, so to speak. So. To bring heaven to earth is a matter of, or to accelerate or to evolve this creation, to accelerate the evolution of consciousness on our planet within your section of creation that you've gotten governance over, that you have had the honor to choose to be aware of today. Where you can make your changes is in your life, nowhere else. So you're given the honor, the opportunity, the joy, and you have chosen this from your non-physical self to be here now as you are exactly with all the challenges and inclinations that you have and all the talents and predispositions and the people that you're meeting. This is your realm. This is your slice of earth and your responsibility or joy rather is to bring heaven to earth in your way, in your particular portion of creation that you have been given governance over and for. If that makes any sense, I hope it does. So 
What this means is that the more non-physically focused you become, the more non-physically convinced, the more you believe in abundance, the more you believe in freedom, the more you believe in love, the more you understand that this is an infinite creation and that you are the creator as well, and that you are on this level, a co-creator of all of creation. The more you understand that, the more you feel that in your vibration, the more you will bring the lightness of being into the physical and therefore everything you touch will turn into a more heavenly version of earth. And as we consistently as a group and as individuals keep doing this to our portion of creation that we've been given governance and choice and awareness over, we will turn that patch of creation, that patch of planet earth into a more heavenly version of itself. So literally what we're doing when we're following our joy, we're acting on our joy, we're vibrating as our joy, as our freedom, as our love, is that we are grounding ourselves in the non-physical, less so in the physical, still a form of being grounded, but it's being grounded in the non-physical focus that will then channel through in our physical focus. So we're blending the non-physical with the physical. Try to intuitively get a grasp for this because I can't really explain it but the non-physical is being poured into the physical and by the physical receiving the touch of the non-physical lightness, that physicality will then start to transform and become lighter and brighter and become more as the non-physical is. In other words, you are helping the seemingly dense physical world of the remnants of our third density reality as we perceive it today. You will help that material become lighter and brighter and wake up to consciousness as well by simply acting on your joy and spreading your love and spreading your light you will literally enlighten the dream environment that you've been given governance of so heaven on earth is technically speaking already here it coexists but it's not on earth it's in the non-physical but when we are becoming clear channels for the non-physical we are then transforming the physicality into the non-physical Your homework for this lesson is to listen to this lesson once more and to do a little meditation on how you personally basically you ask yourself the question how can I personally become more aware during everyday life and catch myself when I'm physically focused and shift myself into a more expanded upwards instead of downwards looking, looking more towards the heavens internally, so to speak, rather than downwards towards what's already physically created and manifest, looking less at the facts and less at reality and looking more at what's possible and more at imagination and more at creation and more at what inspires me and what I want to generate. And, and as, I, as you focus on that, ask yourself, how can I be more in this energy? How can I help myself or remind myself to be non-physically oriented. And when you do, you cannot help but spread around that brightness, that light, and bring heaven to earth, or in a sense, more accurately speaking, lift earth up into heaven. Have fun.